I'm going to show you my top 5 illustrating tips to creating simple and fun vectors in Adobe Illustrator, so let's get into it right now. Whether you're a beginner or experienced artist, the best way to creating beautiful digital art takes some planning. My process always begins with sketching, whether on a tablet or on paper. Even if you're not great at hand drawing, you will see a huge benefit in the finished product and your workflow. Using tools such as the pen tool, smoothing options, and simple shapes, you will notice that even a rough doodle can turn out to look great. If you're vectorizing an object like a car, like I do so often on this channel, then search for the highest resolution possible. I also like to use other references I gather from sites like Dribbble, Instagram, and Pinterest. Try to get a feel for different drawing styles and colors being used. Try to copy certain color palettes so that you don't have to think about it later on when coloring your illustrations. If you want to draw like a pro, then you need the correct settings. Head over to the preference panel. You can also use a shortcut Command or Control K to access it. You will notice this setting right here called Scale, Strokes, and Effects. It's important that before you begin the inking process that you have this setting turned off. The reason for that, Illustrator will resize your strokes based on the size of your drawing, thus giving different stroke sizes across your illustration. Once you have completed the drawing, then I suggest you go back to the preference menu and turn this setting on. This way, if a client asks you to resize your drawing, then you can do so knowing that your stroke weight will also resize along the way. When outlining or tracing your sketches on Illustrator, try not to worry about the overlapping lines. Although, focus your energy on making sure you have clean and smooth lines with the least anchors possible. Once you completed the inking, go back on the overlapping lines and clean them all up. What I like to do is select all and activate the Shape Builder tool. While holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, using this tool, you can click on the lines you want to remove, thus leaving you with a clean illustration. I noticed some artists out there when creating outline based drawings that the lines are always the same. I used to make that very same mistake when I first started digital illustrations as seen here in my old drawings on Instagram. With time and after studying various artists online, I noticed that tapering the lines makes the illustration look that much more refined. So as you've seen in so many of my videos, I select my lines and activate the width tool. I then click on different parts of the lines to vary the thicknesses and taper off the ends. That's giving my flat design drawings so much added depth. Finally, tip number five, and this is a groundbreaking one. Everyone asks me, Dom, why do your shadows and highlights look more vibrant than mine? What's your color palette technique? Well, it's simple enough. Many creators out there tell you to add white for highlights and black for shadows, and then play around with the transparency panel and reduce the opacity. Yes, this is a very simple way to add your highlights and shadows, although it sort of takes away from the overall saturation and vibrance of the illustration. My tip to you is to give your highlights and shadow shapes an actual color. For example, apply to your shadow the same color as your base, then double click on their color palette and on the color grid, select the darker version of that color while also increasing the saturation. You can also prepare beforehand your color palette so you know exactly what colors your shadows and highlights will be as seen in this example. And look at the difference between these two illustrations compared side by side. And these are my top 5 tips to creating vibrant flat design illustrations in Illustrator. If you're interested in seeing how I applied these techniques, then check out my latest tutorial right here on how to draw this tiger vector as a flat design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and cheers everyone!